Hi guys, this is Lauren with Lauren Watkins Art and today I am going to be just doing an overview of what I created in this past year. I love doing these to look back on what I've done and how I've grown each year and I thought I would share it with you. So this is probably the first picture I did of the new year and it was I did it after snowshoeing with my husband and I just got my pastels out and started creating. So the first kind of subject I wanted to talk about was uh, commissioned work. And so I, I did a few commissions at the beginning of the year. And this was one of the ones that I absolutely loved doing. It was a double commission. And I did one of Corona Arch, which is the arch you're seeing, and then of Delica Arch. So they're both arches found in Moab. And I loved doing this because Moab is one of my favorite places to be. And when the client told me to just be creative and have fun with it, it was all I wanted. Then I did a couple doctor portraits. So I did this one of intestines being operated on, and then this one of an ENT operating on an ear. So that little pink thing by his fingers, that's an ear. I always love the doctor portraits. Um, they're always a new adventure for me. Next up is sketchbook work. And some of this sketchbook work um, you've seen on the channel, some of it you probably haven't. Um, I First up, I did this gouache picture of Balanced Rock, again, another Arches scene. This was kind of helping me brainstorm for those earlier commission pieces. I experimented with my colored pencils for this flower. And I love, I've learned to love doing sketchbook work because it allows me to experiment and play and brainstorm ideas without committing to a large piece or feeling like I'm wasting supplies if I don't like how it turns out. I have a lot of pages in my sketchbooks that I hate, but that's not the point of it. The point of it is to have fun and create. Um, this crystal piece was one of the first pieces I did after taking the summer off and it was kind of just getting me back into that creative mode. Um, I, you've probably seen this one. I did this one in pastel and in watercolor and there's a few pieces I did like that. And this wave was a practice round for a giant painting I did this year. Um, I had decided to do a portrait instead of a landscape orientation for it. So that was me kind of seeing how everything would fit together. And then I, I didn't, sh I'm not showing every sketchbook piece I did this year, um, just kind of the highlights. Um, but I really loved this simple illustration in the sketchbook, just a pen and ink illustration that I filled in with watercolor and it was really fun. Um, I had a lot of fun with gouache this year, um, especially at the beginning of the year and experimenting with how to apply it. There are some beautiful gouache artists on Instagram that I just love and have really inspired me to improve my skill at using gouache. Then here is a scene. This is a scene from one of my hikes um, in the early fall of this year. And it was the lands, the, the sun was setting and the color of the sunset was reflecting on the mountains. And then here is a winter path scene, similar to that first one I showed you, but a very different feel between the types of trees and the coloring. It was a really fun way to play with the colors of a sunset being reflected on the snow. I also was able to do a few murals this year. And if you don't know, I've, I kind of got my professional start as an artist doing mural work. Um, right after high school, I did some for my local community and then for my local university, and I've done some other ones here and there. But the first mural I did was in my daughter's room, and you can see in the previous picture she was helping me with it, and she wanted it to feel like she was sleeping in a magic fairy garden at night, and so that's kind of what we worked towards. We even hid like iridescent fairy wings, so in different lights you see little fairy wings kind of sparkling on the wall, and it, it was a really fun project to work on with her. And then this other mural I did was really simple, um, but it was for my niece's bedroom and we did this really beautiful white floral design and these really overgrown flowers on their wall and they're kind of all over their room. And it was a really, really fun project to do that I loved.
So this year offered me a lot of teaching opportunities and I absolutely loved it. I got to teach a little bit at the end of 2020 and I really, really enjoyed it. And then this year I really got in the groove of it in teaching live classes and longer format teach, uh, teaching. And I loved it so much that I decided to stop taking quite as many commissions this year and focus more on teaching opportunities because I love teaching and seeing my students grow and develop skills and see that light bulb moment when something that they'd been struggling with with art kind of clicks and they figure out how to fix that problem, how to solve it, or why some things work the way they do. And I just love that side of art. And it's also what inspired me to teach live stream classes here on YouTube because the traditional videos that I upload are very sped up. Um, even if they're very simple videos, they're usually sped up to at least twice the speed. And I can give an overview of what I did and give basic information, but I can't go into depth of like why I'm choosing to use a color at that point or why I'm picking up the brush I did in that moment. And I, and I find that teaching in person, in real time, allows me to kind of explain why I'm choosing to do something, why I'm kind of course correcting or adjusting. And so live stream classes and in-person classes allow me to do that. This was also my first year teaching uh, pastel classes, which I really hope to do more of in this upcoming year. Next up is kind of the other projects I've worked on that don't really have a category other than being videos or personal projects. Um, this eagle is probably my favorite painting I did the entire year. And it is a soft pastel pencil, so a pastel pencil piece over watercolor on sanded paper. And I did this while I was prepping a video going in depth on how soft pastel pencils work. Then this butterfly piece ended up being a really big challenge for me, trying to balance the really soft blurry background, the impressionistic style of the flower, and then the high details of the butterfly, and trying to balance all those different textures and the colors and contrast for this piece. And then earlier we saw kind of my sketchbook sample piece for this painting. Um, this is a painting for my own house and it is huge and I'm not 100% sure if it's done or not. I keep coming back to it and kind of tweaking and adjusting it. Then here is this pumpkin and this is pastel on sanded paper and I believe I did an ink underpainting. I did a video of it, but I'm really proud of this picture because of the lighting and it's a very different picture for me to work on and I'm really proud that I kind of pushed myself out of my comfort zone for that. And then next up and the last things I'm going to show you are little mini wood slices that I did mini paintings on and these are paintings I'm using as ornaments um, for my family and as for gifts. So. Some of them are painted with very personal scenes that are specific to my family, and I'm going to go in depth on that in the future, and the others are more holiday and winter themed. And I, I, can't, I did some of them using gouache and some of them using acrylic paints, and I'll talk about that process in a future video. But now we're preparing to say goodbye to 2021, kind of a roller coaster of a year for a lot of people. But I just wanted to share my appreciation and gratitude to you guys for your continued support. Your words of encouragement on my videos mean a lot to me because sometimes I feel like I'm posting videos out to the void. And I just want you to know that I really appreciate you. And I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of 2021. And I hope your new year is amazing. Thanks again, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.